Hello to all my beautiful Love Yourself as this is the Love Yourself Guru and welcome to the Love Yourself TV. I came across a beautiful poem. I just fell in love with the minute my eyes laid eyes on it and I thought no better place to share it than with my beautiful Love Yourselfers. Um, and it's by Khalil Gibran, the late Khalil Gibran and he was a Lebanese um, America, American writer, poet, and philosopher, God bless his soul. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to read the poem, and I'm going to read it out loud, and then we're going to discuss it together and see how we can apply it to the Love Yourself movement and apply it to our lives, God willing. The, po it, the poem is called Do Not Love Half Lovers. Let's begin. I'm going to begin reading it. So, do not love half lovers, do not entertain half friends. Do not indulge in the work of the half-talented. Do not live half a life and do not die half a death. If you choose silence, then be silent. When you speak, do so until you are finished. Do not silence yourself to say something and do not speak to be silent. If you accept, then express it bluntly. Do not mask it. If you refuse, then be clear about it. For an ambiguous refusal is but a weak acceptance. Do not accept half a solution, do not believe half truths, do not dream half a dream, and do not fantasize about half hopes. Half a drink will not quench your thirst, half a meal will not satiate your hunger. Half the way will get you nowhere, half an idea will bear you no results. Your other half is not the one you love, it is you in another time yet in the same space. It is you when you are not. Half a life is a life you didn't live, a word you have not said, a smile you postponed, a love you have not had, a friendship you didn't know. To reach and not arrive, work and not work, attend only to be absent, what makes you a stranger to them, closest to you, and they strangers to you. The half is a mere moment of inability, but you are able, for you are not a ha half a being. You are a whole that exists to live a life, not half a life. Khalil Gibran. Isn't that the most beautiful poem? I just, in the whole, I just absolutely, I loved it. I loved it. Okay, so let's go through it. Now, the first point I want to um, talk about is do not love half lovers and do not entertain half friends. I often get a lot of couples that come to me that want to be life coached and what I found was that they really loved each other. I mean, the fact that actually they want to come and they want to heal their marriage is um, is, is really proof that they really, you know, they, they, they do love each other. But what I found was they were half, they were always half there in their marriages. Um, they were there, but they weren't there. And so here when it said do not love half lovers it just it just reminded me of all all my wonderful clients that i've had and that have healed their marriages is that when you are in your marriage god willing be present and vice versa your partner as well both of you be present remember to be present just because you've been married for for, for years and years doesn't mean that you should be half there it means that you should be all there um, so really be present in your marriage. Do not entertain half friends. Also, if you are a friend, be a proper friend. Be there when your friend talks to you. Be there. Listen to your friend. Um, it's really important that we are present in our relationships. We're not half there. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to the point it's about talking. If you choose silence, then be silent. Here is often... Uh, what I found is, let's say I decided I didn't want to talk about something and I would say, right, I'm not, or, or I'd actually say out loud, I'm not going to talk about this. And then a few minutes later, I'll say, oh, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm just going to talk, I'm just going to mention this. Don't do that. Honestly, and I've, I'm trying to teach myself not to do that. Either you talk about something or you don't talk about something. If you've intended to be silent, then be silent. When you speak, do so until you're finished. And when you speak, complete it. Complete your thought. Complete. Either be silent or complete your thought. And do not speak to be silent. And when you speak, your words, words are so powerful. Words are our way of communicating with each other. And sometimes we use words inappropriately, but sometimes we also use words 
just for the sake of using words. So, and when you use words for the sake of using words, you're you're speaking, but you're really silent because you're, the, the words there's nothing really there of any any benefit. So when you speak when you use your words use them appropriately and 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 use them well so when they fall on ears they're heard um if you accept then express it bluntly do not mask it refuse and be clear about it i love that one um from ambiguous not clear refusal is but a weak acceptance so this i actually learned this um early on in the love yourself movement that if i accepted to do something i would say yes and if i didn't want to do something i would say no and before i actually intended to to start doing that i would be really wishy-washy and if if i didn't want if i didn't want to do something i would say yes and i i wouldn't i really wouldn't do it with my heart um and if um i wanted to do something but somebody else didn't want to do it i would say it's okay that so I just learned. I just learned to really be honest and truthful with the way I was communicating. So this is why I love this because it's really he's telling you to be present, really be clear about the way you communicate. And what you'll find is the people that your new relationships will improve so much because they don't have to second guess if you really want to do something or not. And then you also, even if they're not second guessing, but you also when you do something, you've got a pure heart because you're saying yes when you want to say yes and you're saying no when you want to say no. It's clear. You're clear with the way you're interacting and people that are interacting with you, they you're clear to them. So it's just an easier way to communicate. Do things properly. Say yes when you want to say yes and no when you want to say no. Do not accept half a solution. Now, if you are if you have a problem, don't just accept half a solution. Find the full solution because if you don't find a full solution, then the problem and you just find half a solution just to, you know, just to to, to sort it out and uh, there and then what's going to happen is further down the line it's going to you know, the problem is going to come up again so do not accept half a solution find a full solution do not believe half truths and do not dream half a dream now don't we always do this we have a dream okay we have a dream and we think that dream is too big or we think that we deserve that dream so what we do is we have half a dream we 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 cut it in half because because of our limitations and we think well that's enough that half of that dream is enough for us and what i'm saying is with the love yourself movement is god has given you an imagination and you were able to imagine that dream then god willing with the appropriate action you would be able to actually realize that dream so don't dream half dreams just because of your limiting belief if you dream a dream and you believe you can do it god willing you can do it so um and then there's another point that i want to talk about half a life is a life you didn't live don't live half a life live your life fully honestly live your life fully live every day fully live every relationship fully with your husband with your wife with your children with your mother with your father with your with your friends with your co-workers live your life fully a word you have and, and a, li a life half a life is a life you didn't live a word you have not said i also at the beginning of the love yourself movement i used to keep a lot of things in i just used to keep a lot of things in i used to and, and what i realized was it the when I used to keep all these feelings in, it just manifested in different illnesses. So now, at the beginning it was difficult, but now I find it quite easy and I think you will as well. If I feel something and I need to say something, I say it, I let it out, I say it. And guess what? The thing is, no, everybody was actually fine with it. Nobody, everybody was actually liked the fact that I was more honest, I wasn't keeping things in. So if you have words to say, say them. Um, and, and and I think everybody will get used to you saying how you feel. Um, a smile, a half a life is a life you didn't live, a word you have not said, a smile you postponed. Don't postpone your smiles. 
Honestly, don't postpone your smiles. A smile can change your life and can change, it changes everybody's life. When you wake up in the morning and you smile, automatically, God willing, you're telling everybody in your household, listen, I'm fine. I know this day is going to be brilliant and God willing, it's going to be a brilliant day for you too. So always don't postpone your smiles. Always smile. Smile to your neighbours. Smile to your household. Smile to yourself when you look in the mirror. Never postpone a smile because honestly, smile. If you don't smile, you've literally half lived. You need to smile. A love, a uh, half a life is a life you didn't live, a word you have not said, a smile you postponed, a love you have not had. And I said this in my last um, video at the end of it. I said, live as if you've never lived. So be an astonishment when you live. And that's how you don't live half a life. Everything is, oh my God, thank God. Isn't this just amazing? Like I, I, I was in, um, I came to, I came and, and I went to, an, I came to another country, um, just as a little, a little vacation. And I realized that the wind here, it's really interesting. The wind here was different to the wind where I was. It was like colder um, and it just, it just felt different. And I was like, oh my God, isn't that amazing that the wind here feels different than the wind where I was coming from. Um, and so just live in astonishment. So in the video, I said that to live in astonishment, live, live as if you've never lived and love as if you love your life as if you've never been hurt. And, 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 and I say this, love your life as if you've, you've never been hurt and love the people around you as if you've never been hurt. Really, really love them from your heart. And what you'll find is that they will mirror that back to you. So a love you have not had, a friendship you didn't know. Now this bit, to reach and not arrive. So often in our lives, we all, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're trying to reach somewhere. But when we reach that place, we want to reach another place. So it's almost as if you've reached and you've not arrived. And so my what I thought when I read this was just enjoy the journey enjoy the journey and if you enjoy the journey and if you reach the end in mind celebrate celebrate and be proud of yourself and give yourself time to think and give yourself time to rest God willing before you go on to the next goal and the next achievement really 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 enjoy where you've reached feel it so to reach and not arrive work and not work and so sometimes I believe that, I truly believe that we should all work in what we love. And, and I think when you work in something that you don't enjoy, you're, you work, but you've not really worked. You've not, you've not tasted the joy of working if, you, if, you, if you've not working in something that you really love doing. And then the last bit I wanted to discuss is you are a whole that exists to live a life, not half a life. So God put us here. God is so great. He, he put us here to live fully and to live fully is to be conscious, to conscious of every day, conscious of every person, conscious of every experience, conscious of every prayer. And when you're conscious, when you live a conscious life, you don't live half a life, you live a full life, which is what Khalil Gibran is saying, is that we are here to live a full life. So, I love you loads. I hope you enjoyed this poem as much as I did. I, I just, I, I hope you actually turn off the, this video and go and search for this poem and read it and probably put it by your bed because I think I'm gonna put it by my bed. I absolutely love it and I love you so much. Please have a beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. Kindly, if you like, subscribe to the, um, uh, to the channel and hit the like button if you liked the video. And I will see you, God willing, in the next video.